Hi, Alcides. Hi, Nathalie. Hi. How are you? Uh, yeah. You're okay? Fine. You're yeah. fine? Yes, I'm fine. And you, Alcides, how are you? I'll see. I see this. Can you hear me? I see. I'll hi, see. hi. Hi, how are you? Sorry, I'm pretty good, teacher. That's okay. You? I'm okay. Oh, that's good. Yes. We missed you yesterday. Oh, <laughs> I know, but I didn't connect. Right, yeah. Yesterday only Neftali was in class. I didn't have a chance yesterday. That's okay. That's okay. We understand. All right, let's see. So yesterday, I'll see this. We're going to tell you what we did yesterday. Yesterday we talked a little bit okay. about uh, quantifiers, okay? So okay. we have some quantifiers. A ver, uh, Neftali, you remember the quantifiers that we studied about yesterday? Uh, all. Yeah, all, aha. Uh -huh. Nearly all. Nearly all, very good, aha. Uh -huh. uh, most. Most, very good, yes. Same. No, yes. uh, uh, um, some. Any, some, all right, very good. Anything else? Uh, no Any one. other? Uh huh. Um, a few. Right, a few, very good. I don't remember. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Uh, but you're doing very well. All right. Uh, so, ne, I'll see this yesterday. We were talking about quantifiers. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So, these are quantifiers. All right. And the one, we have two. Two of them will never change when we, when we refer to them is because we have or everybody or no one. Okay. So, it's a hundred percent and a zero percent. Those okay. two percentages won't change. In this case, the percent or the quantifier that represents 100% is all, all right? And the quantifier that represents a 0% is no one. Those are the, like the extremes, okay? So if okay. you say all, that means everybody. That means everybody in the class, everybody in your family, everybody in the world, okay? And when you say no one, is nobody, zero, okay? Okay. Now, between all and no one, we have nearly all, we have most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, and few. Now, these ones, I'll see this, they may change a little bit about percentage. Right? Maybe nearly all, it would be like a 90%, 95%, 85%, okay, so the percentage okay. would change a little bit. Most, it would be a little le a little less than nearly all. Yes, si vamos bajando, okay, mm -hmm. all the way mm -hmm. to 0%. But the ones okay. that would never change the percentage is all and no one. Now, if you okay. notice here, we have, when we talk about all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, and few, what you have the quantifier, and right after the quantifier, you have uh, the noun, okay? Talking about, for example, you say, all my students, all the people, all the computers, many, I don't know, many cars, is some uh, children, a few animals, all right, so you, you use the quantifier and then you use a noun, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you use no one, you use no one, and after no one, you have 
Okay, if you notice on this example, it says no one gets married before the age of 18. Get, it's a verb, okay? Okay. It's not a noun. You don't say no one students. You don't say no one teachers, no. No one children, no. You say no one eats uh, pupusas in this class. Or okay. no one studies French. No one drives to uh, I don't know, Washington, all right? So you have no one plus uh, the verb. You understand that? Yes. Now, something that I forgot to mention yesterday, Neftali, is that no one is always singular. Quiere decir, Neftali, que el verbo que le siga, no one, siempre va a llevar S o ES o IES, porque se toma como un singular. No, a pesar de que encierra a nadie, all right, mm -hmm. encierra que no hay nadie, is going to be singular. So you're going to say, no one comes to class. No one sleeps late. And no one understands what I'm trying to say. So whenever no one goes, no one goes. That's right. No one eats. No one takes. So whatever the verb, whatever the verb that you use, it has to have an s or is or es depending on the spelling. Okay. Okay. Yes. Also, uh, I'll see this and Neftali. It's important to mention that to use the quantifiers you need to know if the noun that follows is a plural no uh, sorry is a countable noun or an uncountable noun all right for example okay. you, can you say uh many um many sand can you say many, many sand. sand or can you say many love can you say many with love or many with sand? Sand as in arena. Can you say many sand or much sand? Many. Nefta or Alcides? You use many sand or much sand? Sand. Ajá, san de arena, ¿es contable o no contable? Mm, contable. Are you sure? Ah, san es de, ajá, algunos, sand. porque es contable, ajá. Ah, pero la, la san de arena la podemos contar así. Creo que no. No, all right, sería no contable. Entonces puedo mm. decir, many san o digo much san. Much sand. Much sand. Entonces, le estoy, me estoy haciendo referencia a lo contable o no contable porque hay quantifiers que si el noun es uncountable, hay que no use many. Tendría que usar much. A lot of examples for countable or uncountable nouns. So you need to ah, remember okay. that, okay? Um, so many es para, para contable. Para y, contable. Y much para no contable. Much. No contable, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Acuérdese que yo digo much sugar. I don't say many sugar. Yo no puedo contar los granitos de azúcar. Mm -hmm. All right. Yo digo many money. Nosotros decimos Neftali has many money or Neftali has much money. Uh, uh, much money. Much money. Quiere decir que money es no contable. All right. Y este, el agua sería contable o no contable? Much. Much water or many water? ¿Al see this? Much. ¿Qué cree usted? Much. Water es no contable. Mm -hmm. All right. ¿Se acuerda de eso, Nefta, de lo contable y no contable? Yes. ¿Ya? Yeah? All right. Y yeah. este, el que sigue de 100%, 100 para abajito, nearly all. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa ese? ¿Alguno de...? A ver, no all es todo, ¿verdad? Nearly Ajá. all sería casi todo. Most es ah, la mayoría. Ajá. All right. Many, muchos. Muchos, pero contables. All right. Casi Aquí. todo significa nearly all. Sí. Ok. All right. Tenemos many, muchos, uh -huh. eh, pero contable, ¿verdad? A lot of también es muchos, sames, algunos, no many, son, no son, no muchos. 
a few pocos, few poquitos, a no one, <risa> nadie, o nada. O en este caso, no one sería no, nadie. Ok. All right. You understand? Yes. All right. So yesterday, uh, pretty much, I'll see this. That's what we studied yesterday. Ayer hicimos unas relaciones con uh, Neftali. ¿Se acuerda Nefta? Eh, me, no le escuché. Eh, ayer hicimos unas oraciones con usted, ¿verdad? Ah, yes. Yes? Yes. All right. Eh, Alcides, vamos a hacer el mismo ejercicio. A ver, Neftali, just to practice, y luego pasamos a una lectura que quiero que hagamos. Eh, just to practice, Neftali, escriba una oración diferente, usando el quantifier diferente al que usó ayer. All right? Okay. So, uh, Nef, uh, Alcides, I want you to choose... Eh, por bloques, cuando yo le digo bloques, el primer bloque es all, nearly, all, y most. Ese es block number one. Many, a lot of, of some, that's block number two. Not okay. many, a few, and few is block number three. Y no one, que obviamente va solito, that can be like block number four. So I want you to choose one quantifier per block and write one sentence. Okay. All right. And then Neftali, igual usted, solo que diferente a los que usó ayer. All right. Me avisan cuando termine. Vemos, and then we do a reading, porque tengo una lectura por ahí, ¿ok? Ok. All right, yo aquí estoy, me avisa cualquier cosa. Ok. Ay, ve que, ve que se me corta la... La química, yo no escucho el técnico, muy bien. ¿Lo vamos a hacer juntos o individual? Si gusta, you can do it together. Vayan pensando ahí, solo ayúdense, digamos, siempre juntos, pero cada quien con su, con su, um, con su oración. ¿Cómo va, Nexali? Nectali, ¿me escucha? Creo que Nectali está teniendo problemas con la Inter. Está congelado. Se congeló. Yo hice uno aquí, nearly all, uh -huh. nearly all my friends goes to the party. Ah, solo que nearly all my friends go to the party con, con, sin la goes. Sin la goes, va. That's right, okay. yeah. Ah, porque es plural, ¿va? Sí, exacto. Ok. ¿Hago otra del otro bloque? Sí, yeah, please, yes, yes. Más que ahorita. Ah, Neftalí ya volvió, Neftalí. Sí. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Se nos congeló, Neftalí. Se nos congeló, Nefta. Hello. No me escuchan. Sí, yes. ¿Me escuchan? Sí, sí. sí. Me, está, me, está, me está fallando esta cosa. Pero aquí veo que tengo señal suficiente. No sé por qué me está fallando. Sí, es que falla a veces. Uh -huh. Ok. Este, solamente dice... Quiere que hagamos una oración de cada bloque. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Como ayer. That's right, Nefta, okay. yes. Diferente del que tiene usted ayer, ¿verdad? Del que usó usted ayer, la cosa. Y ahí se otra la segunda. All right, let me see, let me hear it. My family need a lot, a lot of money. My family? Need? Needs a lot of money. 
All right, okay. Solo que en ese caso no está empezando el quantifier su oración, ¿cierto? Ah, sí, entonces tiene que empezar. Yeah, it would be, it would, it would be a better idea. Okay. Yo la cambié. <laughs> Ajá, tell me. A lot of my family needs money. Uh, a lot, okay. All right. Nefta, what about you? Do you have? Uh, voy por la número tres. Las Hola, hola. Hola, I'm here. What do you have? A few teachers playing very well like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A few, it would be a few, a few teachers, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Con ese va al final. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Y en esa lista congelado. No, creo que no. Se está moviendo. <risa> ok. <risa> Me muevo. Me muevo. Ok, finish. All right, finish. Let me see what you have, Nefta. Ok. Eh, aunque tengo una duda, con, como puse... Eh, no puse personas, sino que puse cosas. No sé. Eh, Ajá. Uh, nearly all buildings are small in San Salvador. Nearly all, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, Neftali. You just, you just need to add S. Nearly all buildings. Buildings, ah, okay, yeah. okay. Oh. Cuando usamos nearly all, como es casi todo, cierto? So that's plural. Okay. Okay, um, number two. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, some co-workers are launched at 12 o'clock. Some co-workers, again, ¿verdad? Con ese. Some co-workers, co ajá. Are launched at, two, at 12 o'clock. Are launched or have launched? Yeah. Are... ¿Son almuerzo ellos o tienen almuerzo ellos? Uh, tienen. Ajá. Okay. They have. Uh, have. They have lunch, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have, sorry, oops. Uh, lunch at 12 o'clock. Oops. Uh -huh. 
Number three. Yeah. Uh, not many women go to salon. All right. And number four. No one likes heavy metal music. Ah, oh, very good. Nice sentence. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, uh, Nefta, what do you have? I mean, I'll see this, what do you have? Dale. Yo ayer le prometí a Nefta Lee que nunca más, pero en una clase era Nefta. Nobody wants to know me? ¿O cómo serías? Ah, nobody wants to know me. Oh, forever uh, alone. <laughs> forever alone. Solo para hacer la oración, teacher, no voy a pensar. No, of course, of course. <laughs> All right, any other, Alzi? I'm finished. Yeah, you're finished, right? Yeah. Excellent, you guys are good. Good, good, good. All right, let's see. So you understand pretty much about quantifiers, ¿verdad? Solo acuérdense que de, del all a la few, eh, lo que le sigue después, it's a, it's a noun. Solo no one le sigue el verbo. Y como no one siempre va a ser singular, mi verbo va a ir siempre en con S. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. Okay. Very good. So now, guys, I want us to work on something else. Now. We're going to do a reading. Se la voy a enseñar. Le puede, no sé si le pueden tomar foto. At the... At the um, Reading I have for you. Le toman foto, la leen, y hay unas questions. I just want you to practice your reading right now, okay? Okay. And the reading is on simple present. So here, hold on. Here it is. Just give me a second. Uh -huh. So it starts, it starts here. If you want to take a picture right now here, okay, that would be like picture number one. Yeah, finished? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Um, take okay. a picture. Oops, take a picture Next of this. One. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to read it together. Y eh, obviamente contesten las the questions, okay? Okay. Okay. So yo estoy aquí escuchando los reading. <laughs> okay. Empieza Nexa o empiezo? Okay. Se lee. Lo escucho, escucho algo suave, Nexa. ¿Ah? Lo escucho algo suave hoy. A ver, ¿qué es porque tengo un poco retirado el micrófono? ¿Me está fallando el micrófono? Hoy sí mejor, hoy sí mejor. Ok, este... Um, hay que leer esto. My name. Empiezo o empiezo, ¿no? Ok, eh, pero vamos así intercalando la lectura. ¿Cómo? Sí, sí, de punto a punto nos podemos ir. Okay. My name is Sani, and this is what I normally do. I normally do. Okay, I love to work on the mountains. During uh, during the week, I wake. 
up early and go for a small walk on the mountain. I usually go with my father or my brother. Uh, we like to get some refresh air before we start our day. We live in the country of far away from the city. Uh, we think that our, our country life is wonderful because we are away from the noise um, pollution of the city. We often work for about one half hour and then return to our home. I always take my bus after our walk, our walk and at about a... No lo escucho. Hello? No, yeah. Hola, hola. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Okay. Uh, I always take my bus after our walk and about 8 and 30 a.m. And arrive at at two five <laughs> at school and night at night a.m. My father takes his car and goes to the town to work. Uh, he works at a, vet, a veterinary clinic. He is a vet. A bit and love to help animals. Uh, we had three dogs and two cats. Okay. Uh, the, the other one. Verdad que continúa la Sí, continúa la oración. Vamos a ver hasta la otra. ¿Cómo está eso? Okay. On this week, and we wake up early and go for a hikle on the mountains. It is so nice to smell the the fresh air and see the wild animals. We start there for about three hours and bring our lunch with us. Uh, as you can see, my family loves nature. Okay, answer okay. these questions. What does okay. animals and um, no what does any love to do? Que le gusta hacer a Ani. Dice, I love to work on the mountains. A Ani le gusta caminar en una montaña. Um. Uh, he loves to work on the mountains. He loves to work on the mountains. He En la primera captura está donde empieza. Ay, este ya está aquí ya. Okay, yes. Sí. Sí. 
Sí, es dudable. Ok. Eh, she loves walking on the mountain. Mm -hmm. eh, for two, who does she work with? Eh, ¿Cómo dice? She, ¿Cómo dice eh, la otra pregunta? ¿Hello? ¿Cómo dice la otra pregunta, Leo? Who does she walk with? Ah, ¿con quién camina? Uh, uh, ah, con el papá dice, I usually go with my father or my brother. Yeah, yeah. Or, or your brother, or, or, or she, or her brother. <laughs> uh -huh, or, or, or her brother. Okay. And number four, number three. Number three. Where, where does she live? Up. Where does she live? Eh, ¿Dónde vive ella? Eh, she lives she live far away from the city. Eh, ella vive muy lejos de la ciudad. We live in the country far away from the city. Lejos de la ciudad. Bueno. And number four, how long does she walk? She was yeah, one of our time then return our home. Una hora como que camino, Una hora camino. Eh, no, no one half hour. One, no. one half hour. Yeah. Media hora, entonces. One half hour, dice. Uh, we yeah. often yeah. work for about one half hour. Uh -huh. No yeah. sé si significa hora y media o media hora. Which one? Uh, see this? Ah, uh, este, aquí donde dice, we often, we often work for about one half hour. We often, we often work. Ah, espérenme, que se están compartiendo su pantalla. Mmm. Me salí, creo. Sí, yo no, <laughs> no, no me he fijado. <laughs> We say it again, uh, we often walk. What? Can I say this? We we often we often walk for about one half hour. One half hour is already media. Already media. Okay. Ah oh ah okay. Already media and then we are Okay, hora y media entonces. <coughs> eh, eh, next question. What is? ¿Cuál otra pregunta? No me acuerdo por qué pregunta. ¿Cuál sigue? La cinco. 
What sign does she arrive at school? Arrive. Arrive. Nine a.m. Dice ahí. Yes. Arrive at. Arrive night. at school at night a.m. Mm -hmm. Where the, Where does her father work? Donde trabaja su papá? Uh, he works at a um, veterinary clinic. Yes, he works at the veterinary clinic. No, ahí dice. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, Porque dice, ¿dónde trabaja? My father takes his car and goes to town do work. Ah, okay. He works at the veterinary clinic. Okay. Okay. What do they do on the weekend? The weekend. <laughs> weekend. Weekend. Okay. Uh -huh, on the weekend. What do they do on the weekend? ¿Qué hacen ellos cuando termina la semana o cómo? Ajá, that's right. What do they do on the weekend, yes? Uh, okay. Uh, they wake up early and go for a hike, hike on the moon. Hike, hike. Hike, hike. Yes. ¿Y hike es esquiar? Hike, no, hike es eh, escalar. Ah, eh, escalar. Como así como ir de ir en las montañas, pero caminando. Te deja un Ok, number seven era nada más. ¿Y hike? ¿Cómo hike? <ríe> ¿Cómo es el otro? Como hike. Hola. Hike, sí, yes, hike. Hike, hike. Tengo una, una amiga que estuvo, estuvo por acá, en Estados Unidos, y que a ella le gusta mucho escalar con su esposa. Ah, oh, very good, yeah. No me podía bien esa palabra. Ajá, uh hike. -huh. <laughs> le gusta escalar las montañas de, de piedra. Oh, ok. Las rocas. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Eso hacen todos los fines de semana ella. Wow, nice. Cuando vengan hay que decirle vamos al hike. Ajá, hiking. Ajá. 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 Y aquí que vamos a escalar, si no, bueno, aquí donde digo yo. Volcano. Solo montañitas hay, no hay, no hay bueno. cerros de, no hay cerros de piedra. The volcano is algo volcano is great for hiking. Yeah. Pero ellos va a ser fácil, pero para uno que nunca ha hecho eso. Ah, no, yo sí, señor. <risa> a usted sí. I love hiking. Hoy en, en febrero ah. estuvo acá. Ah, oh, really? No, en marzo. ¿Cuándo es que hay mangos? I don't know. Marzo, sí. marzo creo. Marzo, creo. Marzo, abril. Uh -huh. Ajá. Quería venir para esa fecha porque le gustan los mangos. Ah, but she's from the States. Yes, she is. Ah, all right. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I finished. You're finished? Yes. Yes. Sí. A ver, so what was number one? What does Annie love to do? Walk on the mountain. She likes to what? Hike? 
No, walk. Oh, walk on the mountain. All right. Okay. The mountain. Walk on the mountain. The mountain. Yes. ¿Cómo? Mountain. ¿Cómo mountain. Mountain. Yes. Mountain. Montaña, ¿verdad? Yep. So they like to walk in the mountain. What about number two, Nefta? Who does uh, she walk with? Uh, with, uh, with her father or her brother. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see number three. Where does she live? I'll see this. Uh, she lives far away from the city. She lives far away from the city. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. No, next one, Nefta. Uh, How long does she walk? Uh, an hour. An hour and an hour <laughs> I don't know. one and a half hour. One and a half hours, Nefta. Dice, pero ¿por qué viene así ahí en ese texto que solo trae un guioncito? Ese significa como one and one half hour, sí. O oh. Pero se lee one half hour, ¿va? Yeah. O se lee one, one and a half. Ah, uh, one half hour, ¿por qué no dice anda ahí? Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Pero es correcto siempre, ¿va? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Si usted dice one and a half hour o one... One half one, hour, it's fine. One half hour. Either way, it's okay. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, what about, what time does she arrive at school? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. In the morning. Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay. All right, let's see. What about where does her father work? Uh, next time. He were, uh -huh. he were, um, veterinary clinic. Okay. At, uh, veterinary clinic. Let's see. Next one. Uh, what do they do on the weekend? They go for a hike. They go. They go hiking. Uh -huh, they go hike, hiking, hiking, hiking. Oh. Hiking. Yes, hiking. 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 They go hiking. All right. Was it easy to understand, guys? Is so fácil the, the reading? Was it easy? Was it okay? Yeah, um, was it okay? No. No, no, no too. <laughs> Okay, very good. So it wasn't so difficult, all right? Not too hard. Not too hard. All right, very good. Okay. So, guys, uh, tomorrow we have the very last class of this module, all right? And today they were telling me that if everything goes okay, we will begin the next course on Monday, September 9th, okay? So that means that tomorrow is the last class and then we have Thursday and Friday off and next week off and then we start it again on the 9th of September. Okay. Okay, so some days of holiday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that will depend. Eso va a depender si en todos los grupos, los demás alumnos de todos los otros grupos terminan como a tiempo la plataforma y aparte si hay, ya en, han entregado los documentos, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, me parece que el, el diploma ya está listo una vez ustedes terminen sus ejercicios de la plataforma. You can click on the diploma and then you can print it. Oh, okay. Una pregunta, ¿y esos diplomas aquí los este, imprimiendo o al final se pueden imprimir todos? Eh, yo le sugeriría que vaya imprimiendo uno, o cada vez que termine un módulo, o imprímalo. Mm. Alright, okay. entonces okay. una vez terminó y pasó. 
<laughs> you have to, you can click on it and then you can print it. Okay. All right. A ver, Neftali, va avanzando en la plataforma, Nefta? Uh, this is um, section 5.4. Excellent. Wow, Neftali, you're the best. Ahora me escribió, bueno, no, ayer me escribió a Leida, yo creo que ella está, sigue con lo de los ejercicios, solo que no se conecta por cuestiones de trabajo. Pero sí uh, está todavía inscrita. Qué bueno. <laughs> yeah, she's around, ok. Eh, creo que Fernando igual, ¿verdad? Fernando sí ha estado un par de veces con nosotros, pero como siempre está con cuestiones del trabajo, pero creo que sigue con los ejercicios de la plataforma. Ah, oh, ok. Supondría yo que si Omara y... Um, Remberto. I don't know about Remberto, I don't know about him, but si Omara y Fátima creo que también. Eh, Fátima Rosy. nos ha abandonado. Sí, Fati, Raquelita también. Ah, sí. Fátima antes participaba bastante hoy. Ajá, ajá. Sí, pero ah, creo que están como bien atareadas. Así andamos tránsito, todos. Creo que, sí, no sé. <risa> <risa> creo que por eso Tránsito ya no, no se inscribió en este módulo porque sentía que no iba, no iba a estar mucho y como decía ella que a ella le costaba mucho. <risa> <risa> All right. ¿Y okay. será que ella puede volver a escribirse más adelante? Yo creería que sí. La cuestión es que ella no se va a sentir como muy perdida. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright. Pero veamos. Vamos a ver qué pasa después. Alright, guys. Very good. Usted continúe con sus ejercicios y todo. Y si ya lo terminaron, lo, lo termina en la plataforma, imprima su, su diploma. ¿Ok? Okay. All right, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last class. Mañana nos vamos a enfocar mucho en en el examen final de la plataforma. Si en caso tienen problema ahora, si lo hacen, vemos eso mañana o cualquier okay. otra duda. Y si no hace okay. to practice. All right. Right. Okay. Okay. Have a great afternoon. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.